Hey guys, Dean here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install Snapchat AI on Snapchat. Now a lot of people want to know about this today. So you can see right here I'm on the Snapchat app and there's one section at the very top that you can see which is a little bit different to usual. This has been added in the new update and this is called the My AI. It kind of acts as like a friend as if they were on your friends list but it's a completely new entry. I haven't manually added it. It's just appeared and you can see the emoji next to it is a robot emoji which is like the emojis you have with your normal friends. Like like the one below so if you snapchat a lot of your friends you have like a heart or a golden heart or a smiley face to show that they're like a good friend that you talk to it's kind of like this but they have a robot icon on the snapchat ai chat bot now this ai bot we can change a few things in the settings but i'm just going to go ahead and press the name to open up the chat and now you can see it's opened up a chat with this AI chat bot and it says chats with my AI will be hidden so you can select this drop down box and you can change it to after viewing or 24 hours after viewing now if you leave this to 24 hours after viewing this basically means that you've got 24 hours to have a look at the messages so they don't disappear but if you click on after viewing after you open up the replies they will disappear and then you can't see them again so if you want chat bot history leave this on as 24 hours it'll give you this message when you scroll up for seeing it for the first time and it says hi Dean I'm your new AI chatbot you can ask me just about anything and I'll do my best help I'm always here for a laugh and you can give me a name if you like is there anything else that you'd like me to do so I could just type in hey how's it going what are your capabilities just to kind of ask it a question to see what it can actually do for me just to show you what this chatbot does what it's like and how it replies to us and interacts and kind of give you a gauge on how long it takes to actually reply to us so you can see it takes a few seconds to kind of distinguish what we've said and then reply and then it says hi I am an AI friend of Snapchat, I can help you find places nearby, answer your questions, and have fun conversations with you. So then I'll just say, does Snapchat AI work on Android and iOS phones? And does it work on old phones and then as you can see it's going to type away in reply now this is an important point guys which i'm going to tell you about in a minute because if you're not seeing the snapchat ai bot on your snapchat home screen that's because you're on an older version of the app or an older version of the android firmware so it says yes snapchat works on both android and ios phones however the feature availability may vary depending on the phone model and the operating system version so if you guys aren't seeing this snapchat ai bot on your home page it means that you need to update your firmware so if you're on android or ios update it to the latest version and also make sure in the google play store or the apple ios store for the app store make sure snapchat has the latest version because snapchat had to push an update out to get this feature added my phone automatically updates it if yours is outdated and you've not updated it yet that's why you're not seeing this guys so you, you can basically enter anything in ask it many different questions and there's some real cool capabilities with this bot so i'm going to type in what i'm just going to see let's see if it's kind of good like chat gpt let's just say plan me a weekend in Milan, things to do, things to see, and let's see what it says. Let's see if you can actually plan me an itinerary on the Snapchat AI because a lot of people spend tons of time on the phone and having this kind of thing in your pocket is actually really useful because I use ChatGPT a lot, but if I could just use an app for kind of like a similar thing, even if it's less feature rich, then that would be kind of cool. Now, I don't know if Snapchat AI works on the GPT chatbot model, but it's interesting. So now it's going to come up with some really good information. Okay, let's have a look. Unfortunately, I don't have access to your location right now, so I can't can't give you recommendations for Milan but if you're interested in exploring the city you could visit the famous cathedral of Milan now I don't know if I can share my location with a chatbot but it's nice to see that it's not taking any of your privacy data like your location without asking you so that's a nice thing to see and it says but if you're interested in exploring the city you could visit the famous cathedral of Milan the Forza castle or the Brera art gallery you could also go shopping in the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II or enjoy a walk around the Navigili district if you're a soccer fan you could visit the San Siro Stadium and it's given me a few different links and I can click on the icons and guess what that'll do it'll open up other people's snaps in those areas for me to kind of look and have a look if these places are cool and if I want to visit them it's kind of like having your own Google Maps in your pocket but it's giving you like data from Snapchat's actual users who have posted on them so I can have a look at the football stadium if I wanted to open it up over here which is actually really cool and it'll show you like snapchats from users nearby we can open up this district center studios which is actually a hotel so it's saying that i could stay nearby here i can see the waterway of milan some people some locals chilling i guess some real cool data here so snapchat ai does actually have some quite nice capabilities so that's how to set up the snapchat ai bot in your pocket and utilize it on snapchat and you can basically ask it any questions it really doesn't matter what you want to ask it you kind of use it as a personal assistant but you can also use it for snapchat so i could say what are my friends on 
Snapchat doing today? Question mark. Let's see if it can give us any kind of data on our friends because I'm thinking more so about using this in the concept of actually managing my Snapchat account or kind of taking a look at what my friends are doing. Let's see if it has access to that. It doesn't really use people's private data, so it's probably not going to access my friends list. But if it does, I'll be really impressed because just accessing a few people's names isn't really a breach of privacy. I'm sorry, but I don't have access to this information. However, you can check the snap map to see what your friends are up to. If they've enabled location sharing, you can see their current location and recent activity. You can also send them a message to ask them what they're doing. So well, that's quite interesting, right? So it's kind of given us a blanket answer. It's not given us any specifics. So Snapchat AI is kind of not taking a risky approach. It wants to protect users data and it's not going to share any of your personal data. And because of this, we can't really ask it to give us answers on anything that's sensitive or anything that's regarding someone else's data that hasn't actually given the consent, which is good. So there's not going to be any legal troubles with this. But this is a nice AI to mess around with and I think it's quite powerful. So let's ask it a few more questions. Give me the explanation of Pythagorean theorem. That's spelt wrong, but if it's a good AI, it will correct it. But we're talking about the Pythagoras theory, right? Which is all about triangles and maths. If you know, you know, everyone basically learns in school. Let's see what my AI has to say. The Pythagorean theorem states that in a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. In other words, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the length of the hypotenuse and a and b are the lengths of the other two sides. So I'm a YouTuber, right? So I don't really need to use maths apart from when I'm actually trying to figure out my own finances, but I never have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this is interesting. It's like a big throwback to school. Let's ask it another question. Tell me about the Battle of Hastings. Let's ask it some history. Let's test this bad boy on some history. Let's see if it has some answers. Okay, we're asking it kind of like high school, grade school questions, but I'm interested if this can act as a history teacher. This is the kind of fun that I would have if I was like 10 years old, just like asking chatbots things and they become so much smarter now. I use AI mainly for my business now and just for like fun creative stuff. But I would just like ask it silly questions if I was young. The Battle of Hastings took place on October the 14th, 1066 in Hastings, England. It was fought between the Norman French army of William, Duke of Normandy and the English army led by King Harold Godvinson. The Normans won the battle which led to William's coronation as King of England on Christmas day of that year. The battle is significant because it marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England and beginning of Norman rule, which had a lasting impact on English culture and language. Okay, so it's interesting. So now I'm going to say, tell me the war chiefs of native America that survived the colonization of America. Because I learned about the Wild West in history and I found it very fascinating. There's a lot of different war chiefs, right? And they all went to war with the people who were colonizing America. And I don't know the answer to this question. So let's see if it can give me a history lesson on that. And I do have to say that a lot of the Native American chiefs names were really cool. Like they sounded random, but they were really cool sounding, right? That's why I just love history about their culture. It's just absolutely fascinating. There were several Native American war chiefs who survived the colonization of America including Chief Powhatan of the Powhatan Confederacy, Chief Massasoit of the Wampanoag Nation, Chief Pontiac of the Ottawa Tribe, and Chief Joseph of the Nez Perce Tribe. These chiefs were known for their leadership, diplomacy, and military tactics, and they played important roles in the resistance against European colonization. So that's an interesting history lesson. So I'm going to close this here because this has been a good tutorial. I hope you guys found this valuable. So now you know how to use Snapchat AI, and I hope you kind of had a little bit of fun with me using this AI together and just seeing what its capabilities are. So if you want to see more about Snapchat AI and also AI tools on this channel like ChatGPT and a lot of image generation tools like Midjourney and you want to learn about how AI works, how you can use it in your personal life to just save time and how you can use it in your business to optimize your workflow and make more money. I've got plenty of those types of videos on this channel. I'm Dean and it'd be my pleasure if you liked the video and subscribe and I'll catch you real soon.